Hey, what is up everyone? Welcome back to another unboxing and today I'm taking a look at the Master Grade Gundam Age 2 Magnum and what is this? We've got a Build Divers, I repeat, a Gundam Build Divers Master Grade and oddly enough it is the Age 2 Magnum, not Gundam Double O Diver. However, that was the case with the high grades as well. This is the one that came first, so are we going to see a couple of these? I hope we will. Personally, I would love to see a Gundam 00 Diver as a master grade, as well as some of the awesome other kits that may or may not be made into one. And going by the logic I had with the other video where the Kyrios was on the box of the Gundam Dynamis, saying that maybe that means it's confirmed for a master grade, well, going by that logic, master grade Big Zam confirmed. But all jokes aside, all in all, this is an absolutely astounding looking box art. So colorful, so many different mobile suits from Gundam Build Divers, and all in all, I love this box. Of course, once again, this video right here would not be possible without those awesome, awesome people over at Hobby Link Japan. So if you do want one of your own, check out the link down there in the description. But for now, let's take a look around the box. Okay, so all around the box, we do have the blurbs about the particular mobile suit in general. On the first side here, we've got some information on the Gundam H2 Magnum, as well as a rear and front shot of what the finished kit will look like. I love the H2 Magnum. It's such a cool kit, especially the SV version, and we'll probably see one of those more than likely as a P-Bandai soon. But hey, what's P-Bandai and what isn't P-Bandai is getting a bit shocking lately. The high resolution Estrain War is actually a full release, believe it or not. Looking forward to that one, but anyway. So there is the info on the H2 Magnum, and it says the Gunpla of Kyoya Kujo, the champion of GBN has been recreated with stylish proportions unique to the Master Grade line and highly dense parts configuration. If you don't know already, this is based on the Age 2 Normal from many a year ago. Of course, you did see the Master Grade Age 2 Double Bullet and Dark Hound as well. Dark Hound was one of the first reviews I ever did. Ooh, do not watch that. But anyway, what it says here about the head is the iconic forms of the Gumpla, such as its head, well, yeah, it says head, have been recreated with sharp parts. I guess that means it doesn't have those little baby knobs that we get on high grades. Down here it says figure, the cockpit can open and close, a 1-100 scale Kyoya Kujo figure has been included. Move on over and of course this is a transformable mobile suit so that does make it, in my opinion, not as good as the actual Age 1. The Master Grade Age 1 is such an awesome kit. This is a great kit too but because of the transformation it does have some buckly knees. Anywho, what it says on here is Reproduce the transformation into the Phoenix mode by exchanging parts. Exchanging parts? Come on, man, this is meant to be a master grade. No parts forming. Down here it says, the landing gear can unfold. There is the Beam Vulcan. The form of the Beam Vulcans has been faithfully recreated. Sometimes on these boxes it kind of feels like they kind of run out of things to say. So they mention certain things like, look, it has a head and a pilot figure. But anyway, over here and we've got the Hyper Dodds Rifle Magnum. There it is up there, it says, the Hyper Dodds Rifle Magnum can be mounted onto the rear armor, just like that right there. Flipping all the way around to the other side now, and we've got some more information. Again, the price has been removed from the barcode, so I'll pop the price right down here so you can see how much this will cost you if you do want one. Over here then we've got some information on the shoulders. And what it says is the shoulders have adopted new frames which allow for more holding power. The groin joints have adopted a locking mechanism which allows for a stable range of articulation in mobile suit mode. Hmm, have they made some changes to this compared to the classic Master Grade Age 2? I guess we're going to find out when we bust it open. We've got some information on the F funnels. The F funnels can detach from the shoulders to recreate their extended states. Moving over a little bit more, we got some info on the beam sabers, some awesome poses. This thing looking good so far. So there we have the beam sabers, these are those flat, at least they look, yeah, they look like the flat style age ones. We've got beams in the top and the bottom, we've got the Shiguru shield. Moving over to the hand parts and the hand parts can be switched to create various expressions. If you want me to try the Master Grade gym weapons as well as the sniper rifle from the Master Grade Dynamis with this, let me know because the hands do look similar. Well, they're exactly the same as the gym, that's for sure, but they may or may not work with them, but if you want to know, let me know in the comments. Next up then we've got some information on the markings. Some marking stickers unique to the plastic model kit designed by mecha designer Kanitake Ebikawa are included. That's pretty cool. That looks like it might be a dry transfer, so I'm hoping it is. I love dry transfers. Quick, easy, fast, effective. And as usual, you're going to need a nippers, don't choke on the parts, and no glue required. Let's bust this thing open. And as usual, from the bottom first so we can get to that manual. There isn't anything in here besides the manual itself. Away with this box. 
move this out of the way temporarily and here we go here is the manual so the same exact awesome picture we saw on the front of the box this must be one holy gundam because it's got a halo there flipping around to the back and there is what it will look like once it's painted up out of the box of course there is the uh, one point step which of course means Panel line your Gundam because it will look instantly better. There is the color guide in case you want to paint up your Gundam and want to get those colors in before you buy the kit. But anyway, let's check out what is inside this. So first up is all the information here. So I'm not going to go through this entirely. I'll give you a gist just in case you're watching this, not reading this. I mean, listening to this, not watching this. Yeah, that's what I meant. But anyway, first up, we've got some information on the Gundam Age 2 Magnum. For those of you who are watching, I will pop this up on the screen so you can read the entirety yourself. But the general gist is, it's a mobile suit used by Kyoya Kujo, which uses the Gundam H2 as its base. He's a champion of the GBN world. It's a high-spec mobile suit, good enough to match his skills. I never even noticed until it mentioned it here, but Age 2 is written differently with this particular mobile suit. It's Age 2 is in Roman numerals as opposed to a standard 2, and just mentions a bunch of upgrades and whatnot to make it better than Age 2 and that it's an iconic presence that many divers look up to. Next up then is info on GBN, which is the uh, Gunpla Battle Nexus Online. This is probably why they used the Age 2 as one of the main suits in this, because there was a bit of a game similar to this in Japan. It wasn't used with Gunpla, like it says here, the latest online game that allows divers to scan and convert their Gunpla into data to be uploaded to the game, which would be awesome. But uh, there was a game in Japan where you could buy individual parts of little age 2 Gundam toys that were in Gunpla, you could kind of build them in your own configuration very very simply and pop them into a machine which would scan them and then you could use them. It was a kids game. I never gave it a go but that did exist. So this isn't particularly an original idea to this particular anime. They have been trying stuff like that a lot. If they actually made it happen, that would be epic. But anyway, next up then we've got the diver name Kyoyakujo. Once again that is up on the screen for you to read at your own leisure. The gist is he is a diver who leads the Avalon Force and sports a long coat. That's a bit specific. He's gentlemanly like, he has a hidden passion for battle. Many divers look up to him and his real name is Kyoya Kisugi. Anyway, that was all up on screen if you do want to read that in more detail. We're going to be taking a look at the runners and there is quite a few X's on here. So it does seem like it will be heavily based on the age to normal by the looks of things. It's not a ridiculous amount of parts, actually there is quite a few parts left over, so if you do like leftover parts for customs, dioramas, etc, there is quite a bit in here. But it does also look like there might be some absolutely completely new runners. The stickers are just stickers it seems, so sadly no dry transfers. Moving on to the middle, skipping all the instructions, we've got some more info on the mobile suit. So on this page, it's just about the story of Gundam Build Divers centered around the Age 2 Magnum. So that's Episode 0, The Prologue, Episode 3, The Protector, Episode 12, Shining Wings. All of those are up there right now if you want to read those. You could watch the episodes here on YouTube as well on the Gundam Info channel. They are free. If you haven't seen them already, you can check them out. Moving on over to this page and we got some info on the weaponry. Number one there is the Hyper Dodds Rifle Magnum, a successor to the Dodds Rifle. Moving down then is more information on the Phoenix Mode. This is the Transform Fold. Fold. This is the Transformed Mode, the Flight Form, or High Speed Flight Form as it says here. Down here, number three is the F Funnel. These are blades used as wings, close combat weapons, and funnels as well. These are inspired by the Age FX C Funnels. And I cannot mention the Age FX without being sad about the fact that there was a prototype Master Grade made of that and that went nowhere. That would have been epic, but hey, maybe. Maybe someday. But anyway, down there we've got four, which is the Shiguru Shield. Like it mentions there, that can be used as both a shield and a sword. And moving over some more, and we've got some information on the Beam Sabers. And they're a standard pair of Beam Sabers. That is all that is really in the manual itself. Let's move on to the runners. So first up is Runner A, and this is exactly what we would have seen before with the Gundam Age 2 from, let's see what it says back here, from all the way back in 2012. So, so far just what we would have seen before, but this time around in that purple. Runner B in orange, again 2012 from the Gundam Age 2. It just says Age 2 here, so I assume this was part of the normal, the double bullet, and the Dark Hound. More than likely from the base kit, the normal. Runner C now, once again from the Gundam Age 2. 2012, that is in yellow. 
Once again, 2012 Master Grade Age 2, some clear parts in a clear green. I almost forgot how much I loved the Age clear parts. We also have some stickers in here, which are just a set of clear foils. These go in behind the stickers like so. So the A-shaped one goes in behind the A and that has an absolutely fantastic effect. Something they don't use nearly enough in kits nowadays. Next up then is Runner F once again from 2012 Master Grade Age 2. So I won't labor on this too long because this has been seen for seven years. Same goes for Runner G right here. This is from the Age 2 2012. So seen before that of course is a bunch of inner frame parts including the leg, so we'll see if there's something to replace that later on, but we do have two of these, and once again, that was Runner G. Next up here we've Runner I in white, once again, this is from the age 2, 2012, this is just the armor sections, all of those nice, pure white armor sections, we don't have one of those, we have two. Nine runners in now, and these have all been from the 2012 Master Grade Age 2 normal, same with this one, we've got the Dodds Rifle on there, well, at least all the grey parts of the Dodds Rifle. K, okay, more grey parts from the Master Grade Age 2 from 2012. Okay, now here we go. Runner L1 and L2 down here. These are connected, I'm just gonna pop those apart. And these right here are brand new for this year. Yeah, 2019 Bandai Spirits Gundam Age 2 Magnum. So of course these are the differing parts in these purple sections, including some sections down here which look like they're from the F funnels. There is Runner L2, we've got the parts that will go on the Hyper Dodds Rifle, the parts for the head up here, nice and sharp, just like the box said. So, so far looking cool, but what I want to see is what changes with the inner frame. Let's keep going. Runner E there from the Master Grade Age 2, once again 2012, and we have that little pilot figure as well as the cockpit pilot figure of Asimu, so that is a pretty cool extra. So here we are with Runner M1, once again this is brand new for this year for the Age 2 Magnum, there is Kyoya Kujo himself, and this runner right here, runner M1, as well as this runner M2, which is a repeat of these parts here. This is all the brand new white parts, so a lot of the white parts on here are being reused from the age 2 from back in 2012. So this is quite interesting, we've got another L1 here, but this time around it's connected to runner L3. So let's snap that off and just take a look at runner L3, and essentially it's pretty much like runner L2, but Less. Now this right here is what I want to look at. This is runner N1, brand new for this year, Gundam Age 2 Magnum, and these are the brand new grey parts, so there's new inner frame sections in here. So of course the most interesting aspect right here is the fact that they have remade the shoulder section here. If you've ever made any of the other Master Grade Age 2 kits, they do have extremely, extremely weak shoulders, so this is very nice. I have complained already about the knees, there isn't really anything, well, per se wrong with the knees, they have a locking mechanism that can be a bit awkward, but the shoulders, of course, as well as the waist, were the biggest issue, so it seems like they've corrected some of those aspects with this kit. So that's pretty cool, I can't wait to see how much more stable this is than the older iterations of the H2. Can't wait. N2 then, just to repeat off some of those parts off N1. There is Runner 01, these are clear parts, clear green. Brand new for this kit, of course these little blades are for the funnels, this is for the Shiguru shield. A brand new set of eyes here, as well as these sections which I can only guess go on the Dodds rifle. That is a big upgrade to the stickers on the high grade, big upgrade. Runner 02 then is just some more F funnel blades. Runner MP we've seen all the way since 2012, these are the standard age hands. Pretty much the exact same thing we've seen with the brand new gym kits, these hands are quite good. Lots of nice wrist articulation with these here and the swappable fingers are good and strong. The included beams in here are from 2007. These are those flat style beams. 2007, what would these have originated from? That would have been before Exia, definitely before age. So if anyone knows what the first kit to use these flat beams in 2007 was, let me know down there in the comments. And if it is Exia, then I was wrong. One big old set of polycaps, so I don't see this being as strong as the absolutely gun the RM tier awesomeness that was the Master Grade Dynamis, but I guess we'll see. And the last couple of things then we have in the box is this set of stickers. Thankfully, these are only the eyes as well as a couple of lenses. And finally, there is the sheet of sticker style decal. So these are just stickers. They're not dry transfers or water slides. So just your standard sticker style decals. And these are extremely nice. It is a shame that you can't get these in water slides because these are actually very, very nice. I especially dig the Avalon ones right there. Pretty cool. But all in all, that's everything in the box. 
So that is it for the unboxing. So I didn't know before this was coming out that they had actually changed some of the inner frame sections of this kit. So it's going to have stronger hips, stronger shoulders. So overall, it will be an improved kit compared to what we saw before with some other Master Grade H2s. This is definitely something I'm looking forward to because personally, I love the Dark Hound, but those shoulders just could not support the weapons whatsoever. It was a bit of a letdown and the whole thing fell apart. But anyway, I am very, very hopeful about this kit. Can't wait to check it out. If you have any questions you'd like answered in the review, drop them in the comments. I'll answer them in the review. If you do want one of your own, link in the description. And as always, make sure to come back for more Gunplay reviews, and I'll see you next time.